So your standard machete comes with a, a straight handle. And if you're using this in the jungle to chop light vegetation for long periods of time, say you're clearing a trail, you're actually gonna grip strongly with the thumb and forefinger and the bottom three fingers are gonna have a loose grip. And you want that to ride in your hand. I'll open up so you can kind of see the motion. And what that does for you is you're not holding it you know, tightly as you would like a sword in a combat situation. Uh, you're just letting the blade do the work and you're la letting that slide in the handle stop the momentum of the blade falling. So you're not stopping it dead with the strength of your arm, which gets fatiguing after a while. You're letting just the mechanics of the grip stop the uh, weight of the weapon. Essentially, you're pivoting on these two fingers and the butt of the, the handle is stopping against the meat of your palm there. So it's not the strength of the fingers doing all the work. A lot of the work is simply done by the mechanics of the handle moving around in your grip. However, in uh, Southeast Asia, you'll find this pistol grip kind of configuration common where the butt of the handle curves down. And this allows you as you swing to keep a more even grip on the hand. And what happens is as you swing, uh, I'm not holding it tightly and the the handle slides in my palm on an axis more towards the center. So this hump here rides through the hand like that. It's a bit hard to see, but you can feel it. Uh, and this allows you to also have less fatigue on the hand as you swing. Um, if you ever shot a high powered handgun like a 44 Magnum and done this in both um, double action and single action, you'll see the single action revolver is like an old, you know, Western Colt. When it kicks back, it actually kicks up in your hand and it's built so that the grip deliberately rides in your hand and the shock that would be going straight back in your hand on a double action ends up simply moving the uh, barrel up. Um, so kind of reverse on that with this type of grip. Instead of holding this in a death grip, if you are chopping wood for long periods of time, then uh, you can distribute the force a little easier. You're not stopping it dead with the weight of your or the strength of your arm. You're letting that forward momentum slide the blade forward in your grip and you readjust just you have time because you're chopping wood. You're not, you know, fighting with this type of grip. So an interesting comparison between the straight machete grip and the curved uh, pistol grip, let's say, of Southeast Asia.